Hey, am I the only person who thinks they're recording but don't? Anyway, so some of the stuff that I did today was I painted this. If you know, I think it came out pretty good. Woo! So primer, you just want to make sure you get nice full coverage. This is a high build primer, so I like to build it up a little bit, put two nice wet coats so I can sand it and get it nice glass smooth with typically around 400 or 600 grit, depending on how crazy you want to get with it. But you can always go finer, but I always recommend four to 600 grit with a base coat, clear coat. If you're doing waterborne, got to go a little bit finer. Hope that helps. All right, so there it is. There are the parts back there. I got them all nice and done, and hey, this is did it. This is done at home. This isn't done in a shop. So you know, this is so much you can do outside in your, in your at your own house. You know, you're never going to get the, the the same exact quality as a paint booth, but you can get really really close, especially if you're willing to wet sand and buff something. So let's paint these tomorrow, and I'll show you what that looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask this off. And we can see the letters pretty clearly how they stand out. But if you put a light behind it, you can even see them even more. Let's get out our nice fresh razor. Make sure you press these down really good. I think we're gonna have to do the letters first and then go back. Check it out. All masked off, ready to paint now. Hey, am I the only person who thinks they're recording but don't? Anyway, so some of the stuff that I did today was I painted this, if you know, I think it came out pretty good. It seems like, there we go, see? I think the letters came out really nice. Those are masked off. And I still haven't put the satin clear on it. So, you know, that's gonna be really nice. And then I did the speedometer surround. I did the uh, the gauge cluster for the center console that's modified. I did the radio bezel that's, you know, for my, for my dash. I also did the trim that goes around the center vent, which is pretty cool. And, you know, if you look at like these panels here, these ones, these look good, like in the video right here, they look pretty good, but in person, I feel like I could do a lot better. So I'm gonna redo those. I'm, I'm gonna just spray on the outside instead of trying to spray the backside like I did. It just didn't quite work out the way that I wanted to. I spent a lot of time today working on the, the steering shaft stuff over there. And, uh, you know, so I was able to modify the, 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 the Camaro steering shaft. So, but that's in another video. So anyway, so I don't, so anyway, so what I have to do is I have to satin clear the interior trim <coughs> and give it that texture that I like. And then I will full coat the doors. I'll paint the doors because those are gloss. Those are going to be black with a, a satin clear, but a, a, a two wet coats as opposed to two dry coats to give it that kind of sparkle. Anyway, that's it for today. Check it out.